just a moment. But first, let's find out what your weekend forecast has in store. Clayton Stiver is standing by with a first look at what to expect. Good morning, Clayton. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, everybody at home. I think we'll certainly need the rain gear on hand, folks, especially late tonight into our early Sunday. This morning, though, we're starting off with some fog out here. We can see uh, some low clouds across a good portion of the viewing area. Visibility at times maybe just below a mile. I think it's when you climb in the mountains, the higher elevations, when you'll have some more issues with the thicker, denser fog. Temperatures not that chilly overnight here. The numbers really didn't drop off a whole lot. Lows basically either side of 40 degrees. Typical lows this time of the year should be down into the 20s. Fairly quiet scan of NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar. However, there is some low level moisture in place. A lot of times the radar will scan up above that, so likely maybe some pockets of drizzle this morning. Otherwise, cloudy skies to start. Maybe a little bit of that drizzle and some fog. We'll see temperatures climbing up to near 50, I think, as we get into the afternoon. Not a whole lot in the way of rain activity until we get to about sunset here, and certainly tonight. That's when the rain will come in, and it could be heavy at times. That rain will be with us early tomorrow morning around sunrise, and then it tapers with clearing skies. It'll really get windy in the afternoon, but mild temperatures topping out in the 50s. Monday, though, a cold blast coming. We're back down to 39 for a high. Colder overnight lows. There will be a lot of sunshine. The big question, how long does this cold air last, and how much total rainfall we talking. I'll answer all that with your seven day forecast in a bit. Now we'll send it back to Sean. Clayton Banks knew it so sound like a good idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking his uh, thoughts there. That's going to be a fun story. In the meantime, folks, satellite and radar this morning, fairly quiet scan. We've got low clouds out there, maybe some drizzle, but we're going to be tracking some steadier, heavier range working in tonight. I'll show you that hour by hour with future cast and we'll look at some cold air returning for the week ahead. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. So, your news at sunrise this Saturday morning, taking a live look with our Charlottesville cam here atop the Lewis and Clark building downtown Seaville right now. Not too terribly chilly to start. We had a lot of cloud cover overnight, some drizzle. And that prevented the temperatures from really bottoming out 40 degrees the low. That's the current temperature winds very much on the calm side. As far as rainfall totals go across the region, uh, very light amounts so far. It's basically just been this drizzle or some very light spotty showers, couple hundredths of an inch. That's about it. We can see temperatures elsewhere, you know, upper 30s, low 40s. It will be a slow rise with those numbers today. Eventually this afternoon we could top out around 50 degrees. Fairly quiet scan of NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar. That does not mean though that you're not a little wet out there. We do have this very low level moisture right now and the radar will scan up above that and a lot of times it will not pick up on the drizzle that we might be seeing. Also maybe a little bit of fog as well with some of the low clouds, especially as you travel up the higher elevation. So all things to just keep in mind this morning as you head out and about. Otherwise a pretty quiet scan across the region here at the moment this morning. What we're tracking is an area of low pressure off to our south and west. We can see a lot of heavy rain gathering here down across Missouri and Arkansas. There's low pressure here that's going to track northeastward the next 24 hours. It'll move up across the Ohio Valley into the Great Lakes. With that track being west of us, that's going to pull in milder air. So this is not going to be a wintry weather threat for us by any means. It's going to be a rainmaker and we could have some heavy rain at times, certainly late tonight into early Sunday. By the time it wraps up here Sunday morning, a lot of folks could be seeing over one inch of total rainfall. The highest amounts probably going to be along the Blue Ridge and the Allegheny front. So let's give you a better perspective of it with future cast then for today. A lot of quiet conditions here. Basically the cloudy skies. Here we are at the lunchtime hour temperatures in the mid and upper 40s. I think they'll climb a little bit more after that. You can see us topping out around 50 degrees here, certainly east of the Blue Ridge as we get into our Saturday afternoon. And here we are at five o'clock. And again, we don't see a whole lot in the way of rainfall just yet. There may be a light spotty shower coming in from our south and west at that point. But it shouldn't be too long after that that uh, we get the heavier, steadier rains rolling in. Here we are at 9 o'clock tonight, and we can see temperatures not really changing a whole lot. If anything, they may slowly rise overnight. Heavy downpours at times indicated by these yellows and oranges. That steadier rain going into first thing Sunday morning. Temperatures starting off Sunday around 50 degrees. Watch what happens here now. I think the skies will clear out as we get into our Sunday afternoon. We'll see temperatures well into the 50s. The breezes are really going to pick up, though. Hang on to the hats for sure tomorrow, but clear skies taking us into Monday morning. However, a lot of cold air is going to be blasting back in here. Monday morning, 8 a.m., we're starting off in the 20s 
and it's going to struggle to even get above uh, 40 degrees. I think for the highs on Monday afternoon as we go to our Michael and Sun seven day forecast again, slight chance for a shower today, but it's tonight into early Sunday. The steadier, heavier rains, a high of 57 for tomorrow with that PM clearing breezy conditions, some gusts over 20 miles per hour possible. Then Monday sunshine, but a high of only 39 Tuesday, a mix of sun and clouds, 43 degrees. We'll get a reinforcing shot of some cold air that could bring maybe a flurry or a snow shower Tuesday night right now doesn't look to amount to a whole lot though. We'll continue to keep you posted with the latest on that. But look at Wednesday's high now only 31 in sunshine. 38 your high Thursday after a morning low of 15 and a little bit more seasonable by the end of next week. Sean with sunshine. They're fairly quiet conditions at the moment. It looks like for a good chunk of next week, but we're going to be dealing with the cold again. Feels a little more like winter. <laughs> yes, overall more, you know, uh, a prolonged period of some normal conditions now after such a warm December that we saw. Yeah, a lot of people, yourself probably included, still frustrated with the lack of snow though. Yes, it would be nice, but you know, at least the mountains are open now. I was able to get up to winter green this past week make some turns so yeah, we're getting you'll, there. Well you'll like this next story. We've got a story about oh, a guy cool. in New Jersey who's taken matters into his own hands because he's so fed up with the lack of snow. Vanessa Vanessa Murdoch explains. Today is January 5th, 2016, Huntington, New York. The snow falls thick and steady. Casey Morell even busted out the snow blower to move snow he created. Three days ago it covered his driveway and lawn. Today little is left. Meanwhile, one state over, drive along 6th Avenue in Hawthorne, New Jersey, and lawns are emerald green until number 92. <laughs> it's awesome being the only house or yard in Hawthorne and Passaic County that has snow. Michael Janicelli says his homemade North Pole is a childhood dream come true. I had a lady pull over to the side over there, get out of her car, look both ways, run across the street, touch it. Wanda Guzzi walked by today oh, and had to do it. the same. This is amazing. Janicelli started making snow Monday with this. It's a snow gun. In here, it makes magic. This magic maker can crank out one inch per hour under the right conditions. It needs to be at least 35 degrees cold and the relative humidity just right. After two nights in action, the snow in spots is 10 inches deep. Pinch me someone, is this real? Janicelli's son, Michael, says word of his snow is spreading fast. When I walk into school in the morning, I at least get five kids. How did you get snow on your lawn? And while there today, a classmate's parents stop by to see it for themselves, even snap pictures. It's a lot more than what I thought. It's a riot. I love it, especially when he shoveled. That was even <laughs> funnier. Snow, a novelty this winter. Something you might like for your yard there. You know, it's funny because I was just talking with my wife a couple days ago about, you know, maybe I should make some snow in the backyard and build a ski jump. And what do you know? They're actually doing that up in Jersey. Yeah, and he says that they're uh, <laughs> they're going to get some cold air next uh, this coming week. Yeah. So, so he says he's going to try to make two feet of snow. Oh, wow. Then, like a big blizzard there. So we'll have to do a follow up story then. Right? <laughs> yeah, we'll take a look at it next week and see how it goes. 721. Once again, here's Clayton. Thanks so much, Sean. On today's community calendar, I have some information about a way to help big brothers, big sisters. This month marks the 15th anniversary of National Mentoring Month and Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Central Blue Ridge is honoring its current volunteer mentors, They're raising awareness about the ever present need for more caring adults at the Star Hill Brewery Tasting Room that's in Crozet. One dollar of every beer sold in their tasting room throughout the entire month will be donated back to Big Brothers Big Sisters. The support will be used to provide more mentors to children on the waiting list from Charlottesville and Albemarle. For more information about this event or about Big Brothers Big Sisters, call 434-244-0882. Stepping out the door this morning, current temperatures, some upper 30s and low 40s, not too terribly chilly, a light breeze. You want to have the umbrella on hand. We are tracking a little bit of drizzle. The radar having a tough time picking up on that, but uh, otherwise plenty of clouds and maybe a little bit of fog as well. Pretty calm day overall, cloudy sky, not a whole lot in the way of rainfall. It won't be until later tonight that we start to see more rain working in. Temperatures today topping out well in the 40s. A few spots could touch 50 degrees. More on the forecast next half hour. Sports is coming up next. Our forecast. Good morning, Clayton. Yeah, good morning, Sean. Good morning, everybody at home. I think there will be some improvements for tomorrow p.m., folks. In fact, actually tracking some mild temperatures, although it will be breezy as we get into tomorrow p.m. But in the meantime, you just saw 
course, on the Seaville camera there a moment ago, we have some cloudy skies. We have some drizzle this morning to start. Not a whole lot of activity for much of our day today, but as we get later into tonight, into early Sunday, that's when some steadier, heavier rains will track in. As said, improvements for tomorrow p.m., though, with pretty mild temperatures before the bottom drops out. Arctic cold air will be building back in for a good chunk of next week, so get ready for those winter-like temperatures again. Dealing with some fog this morning, overall, the visibility not too terribly low with the mild maybe just below a mile in a few locations, but it's when you climb into the higher elevations in the mountains that you'll have more issues with the fog. Fairly quiet scan of the radar, although the drizzle is not being picked up that is out there. It is a little damp, otherwise plenty of clouds, but it's this system, low pressure down to our south and west that'll track up across the Ohio Valley and send a good swath of moisture away later tonight. In the meantime for today, though, some morning drizzle, 41 degrees here at 8 a.m. Very light breezes out of the east as we go through the day, plenty of clouds, a slight change for a shower late in the afternoon, getting up close to 50. We'll take a closer look at that heavier rain coming in tonight and the cold air for next week with the seven day forecast in a bit. Now we'll send it back to Sean. All right, and our future cast model tracking some steadier, heavier rains coming in later tonight, folks. I'll let you know what we're talking about for amounts. We'll show you when it clears out and a closer perspective on a cold blast of Arctic air coming back in next week. The seven day forecast is coming up. Starting our Saturday morning off uh, very cloudy folks as we look at some live cameras across Central Virginia, the Shenandoah Valley and the mountains. Low clouds, maybe a little bit of drizzle, some damp roadways. And as far as fog goes, it's not too terribly dense, really, unless you're climbing up the mountains, you know, 64 going over Afton. If you're going to be driving along the Blue Ridge or perhaps up in the Shenandoah National Park, just be very careful. That visibility there could get down close to a quarter mile. Current temperatures, upper 30s and low 40s on the Weatherbug Network. Winds basically calm or just a couple miles per hour. And as far as rainfall totals go here over the last several hours, very light, just a couple hundredths of an inch, and I think the rainfall chances for much of our Saturday will be on the low side, light amounts, but it's later tonight after sunset and the overnight where that heavier rain is going to be tracking in. Right now, pretty quiet scan of NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar. We have a lot of low level moisture here, so the radar is scanning above that, hence the reason why it's not picking up on any drizzle that is out there. So a little bit wet today as we put our future cast model into motion. Plenty of cloudy sky, but again, you don't see a whole lot of uh, steady heavy rain just yet. Here we are at four o'clock and at that point, maybe a light shower will be working in from our south and west, but it shouldn't take too long. We get to say seven o'clock and especially there past. That's when a lot of this rain is going to be working in. And yeah, we can see yellows and oranges uh, showing up here. Some heavy downpours possible as we work through the overnight hours. Not too concerned about a flooding threat here, though. This is fairly quick moving overall. But uh, here we are first thing Sunday morning at 7 a.m. And we may still be dealing with some of these heavier rains as we head off to the morning worship services. But it shouldn't take too long after that that a lot of this rain is lifting out. And we start to see some clearing sky now for our Sunday late morning. And especially for our Sunday afternoon could actually see some mostly sunny skies. The winds are going to be picking up though. Yeah, a lot of dry air building in Sunday night into Monday, but it's cold air as well. So we're going to be back to some winter like temperatures as we go into the upcoming week. Rainfall totals. The computer models are a little bit different with the amounts here, but I think on average area wide, a lot of folks picking up around, if not just above one inch with higher amounts across the mountains, say the Blue Ridge and the Allegheny front. I said winds going to pick up as we go into our Sunday here as a cold front's going to be blasting through a southwest to west breeze here, certainly late morning into the afternoon, sustained 15, 20 miles per hour with some higher gusts. These breezes blowing right into our Sunday night and will gradually start to taper off as we get into our Monday. Cold blast of air coming in as we get behind this system, folks. The jet stream taking a big dive to our south. So as we go into Monday, we can see that Arctic cold building back in, and it looks like that dip in the jet stream going to stay locked in place with us for much of the upcoming week here. So plan on those uh, winter coats again, just like what we had to break back out, you know, as we started this past week, a bit of that eye opener. The cold air is coming back as we go to our Michael and Sun seven day forecast. Slight chance for a shower today. Cloudy skies, high temperatures get up to around 50. That steady or heavier rain tonight. Maybe a lingering shower tomorrow morning, but then the PM sunshine, the windy conditions, a high of 57, though it's mild, and then that cold blast of air for Monday. Sunshine, a high of 39 after a morning low of 26. Tuesday, we'll see some increasing 
and clouds, a high of 43. Tuesday night, Arctic cold front tracking through could spark a flurry or a snow shower. It doesn't look to be too big of a deal at this point. We'll keep our eyes on it, but we're right back to some cold temps. Low 30s and sunny Wednesday. Upper 30s after morning lows in the teens. Thursday, fair skies and a little chilly yet on Friday there, Sean. But looks like fairly quiet through that stretch. There are some indications maybe next weekend it could get a little interesting again. A little interesting. So we'll just have to see. You know, I, I think we're bound at some point to see something. Folks are talking about when are we going to see a snowstorm or wintry weather. Overall, we're starting to see signs of more cold being locked in, in the east, and we know about that active southern branch of the jet stream with El Nino. So it's just a matter of timing. Sort of the first step there. <laughs> and yeah, it, it's kind of a slow progress towards something maybe down the road. All so right. Sounds good. Thanks, Clay. You bet. Well, Cheryl, and on today's community calendar, I have some information for you about a chance to learn how to keep yourself safe. Tuesday morning from 9 until 1030, Randy Davis from the Office of the Attorney General of Virginia along with Sheriff James Brown and Triad members of the Albemarle Police Department will be at the Charlottesville Senior Center at 1180 Pepsi Place. They will be discussing how to avoid health care fraud and elder abuse. These are crimes that victims not only are vulnerable citizens, but all taxpayers. Also, they'll be talking about home safety, shopping safety, online safety, phone scam protection, and much more. For more information on this program and other events going on at the Charlottesville Senior Center, you want to call 434-974-7756. Our current temperatures this morning, generally upper 30s and low 40s, not too terribly chilly. We've had a lot of cloud cover overnight, preventing the temperatures from really bottoming out. A little bit of drizzle as well. Well, and maybe even some fog to start your day. So a little damp out there, but it's going to be pretty quiet for us today, folks. Not much in the way of rain for our daytime hours. Temperatures will make their way up to around 50 this afternoon. Temperatures not changing a whole lot tonight, but we will be tracking steadier, heavier rain rolling in. I'll have a final check of our seven day forecast in a bit. Sports is next. Sunday night news at 11. I always uh, look for the music to see who's going to win that. Being a big John Williams fan, he's usually up for a golden glow with the best score. Absolutely. So we'll have to see if Star Wars does it this go. Around. Yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah, let's uh, check the forecast, uh, folks. Today, fairly quiet, cloudy skies, maybe some drizzle this morning, a late afternoon shower possible. Highs between, say, 45 and 50. It's tonight when the steadier, heavier rains roll in. The temperature's not dropping off a whole lot. Mid and upper 40s. That rain could be heavy at times with some fog. Some morning showers tomorrow, but p.m. clearing and mild highs well into the 50s. It's going to be windy tomorrow. Get ready to hang on to the hats as we go into the upcoming week. That cold, winter-like air is going to come back in, maybe a flurry or a snow shower late Tuesday doesn't look to add up to a whole lot at this point. All right, thanks, Clayton. Have a great